Hi and welcome to this masterclass on fast bowling. I've got a very fast man next to me actually, Ian Bishop. Uh, thanks for joining us, Bish. Every team needs one, don't they? Surely. A fast bowler? We drive the game. We are the real brains and engine room of the game of cricket. No, but uh, the fast bowler adds so much, uh, an extra dimension to any. Every great team needs a few. Well, how fast is fast? I guess that's the key. Let's take a look and just see what it might be like a little demonstration here, 0.46 of a second. That's all the time you've got when it's 140 Ks and above. So there's no time to react, and that's exactly what the bowler's trying to do, make the batsman feel a little bit uncomfortable, correct? Absolutely, and we're differentiating here between a seamer who may operate between 128 to 135 to Me the real fast. against you. <laughs> Which is quite good, actually. Uh, still has its pluses to the guys who bowl 140 and above. So what it does is, is it presents an intimidation factor. We talk about cricket being a test of character, technique and everything. Well, it pace does strange things, Dooley, to batsmen, forces them to, to react in ways that logically they normally would not. So it's, it's a great reaction. Yeah, let's take a look at some of these examples here. And we'll start off with uh, Wahab Riaz, left arm quick, 148 Ks. All this is doing Ian Bishop is, again, like you say, making the batsman feel uncomfortable, limited amount of time to try and play it. And sometimes you take the pitch out of play, as you can see from the full lengths that are being bowled, and the indecision that it's causing. Batsmen set up to play one shot, very little time to react to a change of length or change of line, whether that's mental or technical. And then you can bring in our masterclass uses of the Yorker, uses of the short ball, which can get you out or maybe cause uh, a little bit of a distraction. So fast bowling, brilliant, especially when you have conditions to assist. Straight through Henry, who was halfway back to the pavilion before it was bowled. Typical tail enders dismissal against pace. And that's one thing Mark Wood has in abundance. Well, some have it, some don't. How do you get it? How do you bowl fast? What are the keys to bowling fast or even wanting to bowl fast? I think a lot of people want to bowl <laughs> fast, but a lot of us want to run 100 metres in, in under 10 seconds, but we can't. So I think genetics is the first thing. You must be genetically inclined to do that. But I'll just go through a few keys and they're different from different people. So let me just start a couple of steps back here from a run-up perspective. I think a run-up offers you a fast run approach to the crease offers you about 50, 60% of eventual ball speed, right? Uh, you've got some big, strong guys, your back foot landing, getting off of that as quickly as possible with your load up. Some guys will arch themselves just a way to get Call into their load up. Call it a rock back? Yeah, yep. so it's like a slingshot mm -hmm. effect kind of thing. Yeah. Um, the other thing, to, to generate all that momentum in the run-up, Simon, as you well know, and to keep it going through delivery, You've got your breaking leg, I call it, or your block leg. Once that's landed, what happens is all that energy from the run-up comes, if it's not collapsing, if it's straight up into the upper body, into the arms at release. And that's where you get a lot of pace from. One small thing that I want, the wrist. Wrist flicking through behind the ball adds to me another quarter half yard. So a lot of things different for a lot of people. I love what you said there because I, I think the follow through is as crucial right. as the run up is. Right. You know, because you, you're driving through everything that's coming through afterwards, that leg driving through, and then you're getting down the crease. But that is all advantageous if the run up is good, the delivery, everything in there alignment. is good. And then the alignment, and then you're getting through the crease as Every, well. It everything all helps to us the target. pace going towards its target, Correct. doesn't it? Because oh, there's certain bowlers that all, or fast bowlers, generally have one or two things in common. If we look at the screen, we've got Jofra Archer, we've got Lockie Ferguson, Mark Wood and Shubnam Ismail going from top left to bottom right. They all have some very similar things in common. Right, they've got that brace front leg which helps them to transfer the ground reaction forces up into the bowling arm. Most, uh, three of them anyway, apart from Lucky Ferguson, who falls to his left, have their alignment with the head, the upper body, going towards the target, so you're not wasting any energy there at all. And it's different from Lucky Ferguson, big strong guy, yeah. so his pace is generated from a strong upper body. Yeah. So it's a lot of stuff, but the most important thing, I think, is what you said, mm -hmm. all that energy. Yeah. Don't let it go left, let it go to the top. And it, it just shows you, I think, the different body shapes 
you can still bowl quick. You can be tall and lean, you can bowl quick. You can be short and lean like Mark Wood and bowl quick. You can be stocky like Lockie Ferguson. Shavna Ismail. Talk to us a little bit more about her and what she does really well. Yeah, she gets off that back leg relatively quickly. Nice, strong gather, very upright, the head in a good position, the front arm pulling through into that front leg now where the energy goes. Look at the left leg and it's not collapsing. So she will end up getting over that front leg, that left leg. Look at how braced that is. So all the ground reaction forces from the run-up up into the bowling arm. She does fall a little bit to her left, which is not bad, but a textbook, you'd want the head staying a little bit more upright. And then that follow through you talked about. Yeah. The bowling arm driving past that left hip, which a lot of people try to manufacture a follow through. But a follow through is an end result of what happens through as run up. Yeah, it's a natural thing, a follow through, I think. Well, some great pointers there from Ian Bishop. One thing I will say, you have to want it. You have to want to bowl quick. If you want to bowl quick, someone will help you. But don't. For coaches, don't tell your kids to slow down and we'll straighten you out. Just bowl as fast as you can, as fast as you want to bowl, and the coach's job is to help you bowl fast and straight.